So university started to have a more syst systematic way in uh, in the way how to look uh, at, uh, at at knowledge and get more um, uh, connected uh, to the rest of uh, the society. For example, the University of Amsterdam is is based on the idea of uh, um, uh, of, of sailors who sailed all over the world and, 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 and merchandise uh, and merchants who came back uh, from there. Uh, their, their trips all over the world and they came back to Amsterdam and they saw a lot of things around them in the world but they, they, couldn't, they couldn't give it a, a real uh, a place also in their mind. They, they knew not enough about what the world around <coughs> what was happening there. So they tried to get a better understanding. So they, they, they founded the University of Amsterdam. And, well, it's very interesting that the first lecture of the, one of the first professors of the University of Amsterdam, um, Van Baarle or uh, Barleyus, was about the wise merchant. And I think that there, there are a lot of issues which a, a university is facing. One of the issues is that we have the, the last decades we worked on to, to, to get research on a higher level. And, um, and I think we succeeded in that. So research at Dutch universities uh, is on a, and, and mostly on the research universities is, is on a high level. But secondly, there's also teaching, but there also is what we call valorization, to bring out what you have uh, found out of your research into society. And that valorization process, that's, no, uh, that's a bit new for, uh, for, for a lot of academics today. Most of our students, we, we work with them in the way that at the end of the day, they will become all, all salary men but not uh, more in an entrepreneurial way. So what's new for us, and that's what we learned the last uh, few years, is that to, to also to put in more entrepreneurial s skills into the curriculum of our students. Yeah. Society has new uh, capabilities of the university. Not only bring researchers research on a higher level, but at the end of the day, what will they do with the results of that research? And for example, research in cancer or in other illness, that makes for a lot of citizens make sense that there is research and it make also have, have a, a, a big impact on society. But there's a lot of more research, what is done by university, what could have potentially have a big impact on society. Fundamental research, but also research in social sciences, humanities. And that's for those, for those researchers, it's quite a new phenomenon. I think that uh, we, can, uh, we can learn a lot of our students that there, there are risks in, in life but also that, that you can also uh, learn capabilities how to handle these risks. And uh, I, I suppose for a lot of, for, for a lot of our students, uh, a risk is a, is a part of our life. Uh, but are we aware of the risks there are? And, and are we also in, uh, in a position that we, we teach our students uh, to have the skills uh, to handle those risks?